In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to get started in hand sewing. This is a video for those who have never done it before. I'm going to show you how to thread your needle, how to knot the thread, how to get started with your stitching, and then how to finish the stitching. Once you learn how to do the basics, there will be a variety of stitches that you'll be able to do. So let's get started. In order to get started hand sewing, you're first going to need your thread and your needle, which I have right here. For your thread, you're going to make sure that it's not too long. I know sometimes it's tempting to start with a really long strand so you don't have to change, but you don't want it too long because as you're pulling it through, it's just going to get tangled and tied into knots. So I would start with a piece that's about 18 inches in length at the most. I have my needle here, and I know it's easier to get your thread through the eye of the needle if it's a big needle, but if you're just working with regular cotton or something a little bit more delicate, you don't want a big needle going through the fabric, which will cause big holes in your fabric. So I'm just starting with a nice small hand needle right here. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take one end of your thread, and if you're having a little problems getting it through the eye of the needle, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wet the end of my thread here, and if you're having an especially difficult time, I would also trim with some scissors just so it makes it a little bit easier getting it through. So you're going to put it through your eye. You're going to pull it through. Okay, and I'm just going to smooth this out. And you're going to have your tail of the thread right here. This is what I just pulled through. I'm going to pull it down so it's about, I say, four inches. You don't want it to be too short because if you if it's this short and you start pulling it through, it might actually slip through and then you're just going to have to keep re-threading your needle. So a good four inches is probably safe. Now we're going to tie the knot at the end of the thread. And a simple knot is just doing a loop and then putting the end through the loop and pulling it. There's a knot. Another easy way, which I like to do, is I like to wrap it around my finger, like that, and then using my thumb, I'm just gonna roll it off and then pull it. And then you also have another knot, just like that. So there you go, so now it's threaded, and you're only gonna do a knot at the very, very end of your thread. You're not doing a knot at the end of your tail. And some people like to think they can do that so it would prevent it from going through the eye of the needle here. But the problem is, once you start pulling it through your fabric and you hit that first knot, your thread is not going to go any further. So that's why you need to have it nice and clean and smooth until you get to your end knot at the end of the thread. We're going to show you how to do the two different knots in close up here. So you're going to take the end of your thread and I'm going to show you how to do the quick method which is just wrapping the end around your forefinger like that and then with your thumb you're going to roll it off your finger and then pull it at the end and then you have a knot like that. The neater way to do it is you're going to do a loop at the end like that you're going to take the end of the thread, you're going to put it through the loop, and then you're just going to pull the two ends. And then you have a nice neat knot like that. Now if you happen to make a knot and you have a long end on the other side of the knot, you can always trim this so it's a little shorter. Now we have our knotted thread onto our needle so we're ready to start sewing. The first step is you're going to decide which is going to be the right side of your fabric. So this is the right side or the top side of my fabric and underneath is obviously the wrong side. You want your knot to be on the wrong side of the fabric because we don't want to see knots on top of whatever we're sewing. So I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to go underneath my fabric and I'm going to come up and I'm going to pull my thread all the way through until I reach that knot. You're going to make sure you come all the way through and you're not going to want to do it fast because that might cause knots. Once I come up, I'm just going to show you how to do a running stitch. You're going to go down into your fabric and again you're going to pull it all the way through. If you, get a, if you start getting a knot, just kind of pull it out like that. And very slowly you're going to go through and then I'm going to come up again. You always try to make your your stitches about the same length and you're going to go down 
Now sometimes where beginners have problems is they forget that it's basically all you're doing is going up and down. So instead of going down, see now I'm coming up, they'll now go over their fabric and come up again. And you'll see what happens is now it's kind of going over the side and what it is, it's bunching up your fabric. So you don't want to do that. You also want to keep your stitches nice and tight, but you don't want to pull it too tight because then you'll start getting puckering in your fabric. So you just want to go up and down or whatever stitch you're doing and keep it nice and uniform and nice, nice and tight, but not too tight. So now I'm going to show you how to not your stitches after you've done with your project. Let's say we're done with stitching our design. So now we're going to end our stitches by doing a knot because we don't want our stitches to come undone. So I'm going to take my needle. I'm going to go back down through the fabric because again, we want our knot to be on the wrong side. So I'm going to pull this through. There's our finished design. And then I'm going to flip it over. So now I'm on the wrong side of the fabric. And in order to tie a knot, you're probably going to want to go through one of your stitches. Um, if you can, you can go through your fabric, but the thing is you don't want it to show on the wrong side of the fabric because that won't make it look neat. So I just put it a little bit through the fabric. I'm going to flip it over and I, you can see my needle right there. So I'm not going to do that because it doesn't look very neat. Instead, I'm going to go through my first knot here. And I'm going to grab a little bit of it. I'm going to flip it and make sure I don't have any fabric right there. So I got to have to do it again. And uh, once I grab it, okay, so now I'm going to pull through and you see I have this little, this little loop right here. I'm just going to put my needle through the loop and then I'm going to pull it. I'm going to do it again because I like to do two knots just to make sure it's nice and secure. Here's my loop. I'm going to put my needle through the loop and I'm going to pull it. And then once you have your knot secure, you just cut it off and then you're um, ready to move on to the next step, whatever that may be.